if someone doesn't want to take responsibility and they always play victim it's everybody else's fault red flag Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Agao Akal. I post self-development videos every Monday. I also post lifestyle and beauty videos on Saturdays. And if you're a returning subscriber, the OG, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in once again. So if you haven't noticed, the countdown to a thousand subscribers is on so that is something that i am really excited about thank you guys for subscribing and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button turn on the notification so that you receive a notification every time i upload a new video and at the same time join the family join the growing family because over here it's all about positivity enlightenment growth and encouragement so let's just get straight to today's topic which is about of course as you know from the title red flags red flags while dating i wouldn't say i have much experience but at the same time i think i know one or two things which i can share from my personal experience and from what i have seen around of which i can help you to avoid such people from coming to your life and that's why <laughs> I have my red lipstick because I have to definitely represent with this whole title. So when it comes to dating, it's not easy and the truth is that nobody is 100%. Even you yourself, you are not 100%, you are not perfect, you are just amazing the way that you are and everybody comes with a flaw. But at the same time, there are some flaws which are unacceptable because it's really hard to live or to be with somebody who is literally messing with you mentally now you have to always choose yourself because your mental and emotional state and your mental and emotional health is what matters the most and this is why when you spot a red flag you have to be cautious when it comes to dating other people because different people have different upbringing and different backgrounds and so you just need to be careful because not everybody was in the same situation as you and so let's go to red flag number one let's see where it goes that is it it's your boyfriend or girlfriend and they just don't know what they're doing with their life that means that person has no direction or no plan with you and they are most likely going to drag you down and just add you to that confusion when someone says let's see where it goes go where are we going to the moon, to the stars, to the sky? No! You need to know what that person is doing with their life. What is their life plan? If you are in uni, what are you going to do after uni? How do you plan to live your life? You need to understand how that person is living their life, how focused they are so that you can get to understand where you add up in that equation and what you can bring to the table so that you can make it work. Because the reality is in this life, it's not easy to date so you have time and your time is valuable when someone says let's see where it goes you can be dating for eight years for ten years and it's like well, i don't know let's see where it goes girl run run and don't look back because that person is afraid of commitment and you should not be dragged down or just be added into that confused equation the second red flag that I would like to talk about is gas lighting. What is gas lighting? Gas lighting, basically, in my own definition, is when someone is telling you that you haven't seen what you've seen, you haven't heard what you've heard, and you are just a crazy person and mixing up your reality with false. Of course, you know what you know. But at the same time, that person is going to question your own existence and try to make you look like you're crazy. Example, let's say you plan a date the next day with your partner, or your boyfriend or whatever. When the day comes, you'll be like, hey babe, are we gonna go for dinner? I'll be like, what dinner are you talking about? I didn't make any plans. Run. That is a major red flag because that is a sign of emotional abuse. And when someone makes you question your existence and make you think that you're crazy and you know you're not, then that is something that you need to worry about and make sure that you are in good mental state because they're going to create anxiety. You'll be walking around eggshells with them because when they do something, they will not own up to it. And of course, when you're in a relationship, your voice needs to be heard. So when you see that red flag, be cautious. 
be cautious because it's something that you need to tread lightly so if you like this video so far please comment down below and share some of the red flags that you have seen or experienced in your life i would love to hear about your experiences and also understand the type of red flags that you guys have been in and if this video does well then definitely i would like to talk more about red flags in dating and in relationships oh and by the way when i say in dating i'm not just applying to men i'm applying to both male and female the red flags can come either from both sides so don't get it twisted the third red flag that I would like to talk about is when someone doesn't want a title that is very creepy why doesn't that person want a title why doesn't that person want to be called your boyfriend or your girlfriend that means there's something that they're running away from or something that they're hiding so you should be really cautious when you stumble across somebody who does not want a title that means they have issues that they're dealing with they have a problem with commitment and not only that they don't want to commit to a relationship with you they also have a problem committing maybe in their life maybe to their job maybe to their business to their passion to their family Family. you might never know but this is a red flag because there's definitely something deeper than just not wanting a title maybe this person has gone through traumas and they're going to reflect it on you so when someone says they don't want a title live your life find somebody who wants a title when finally this person decides that he wants to make a decision in their life they might have wasted your time and they might say oh well i don't want a date or don't catch feelings at the same time these are very confused species since they don't know what they want it will confuse the hell out of you maybe you're a thing maybe you're not maybe you're allowed to date you're allowed to spend time together but don't catch feelings on one side you'd be like okay since we are not a thing i can see someone or i can try to interact with other people on the other side he or she will be like why are you talking to somebody else that is a very confused moment and that's a very confused person that you should not include in your life red flag number five if they talk about everyone around themselves apart from them that is something that you need to be cautious of because why red flag if they talk about their neighbors red flag if they talk about their friends red flag if they talk about their family red flag just know that somebody who's always talking about someone else means that they are insecure people and insecure people will always find a way to bring everyone around them down so that they can look good and if they're doing that to everyone else then what are the chances that they're not doing it to you maybe they're talking ill about you or try to bring down your reputation or try to reduce your character and you just don't know you're just trying to be your best and just be available for this person but this person does not know how to value the people around them so what makes you think that they can value you the fifth red flag that we all know too well is the victim someone who plays victim Ugh, aren't they annoying personally i do not like people who don't like taking accountability for their own actions because someone somewhere is responsible for things going wrong and not them it could be their neighbor their cat their dog their mouse the sky the rain the life and this and that no if someone doesn't want to take responsibility and they always play victim, it's everybody else's fault. Red flag, you need to run because this person is definitely going to blame you whenever things go wrong in a relationship. They are not going to take part or take responsibility in the slightest bit because why? It's your fault. They would make you feel as if you are in a relationship by yourself. You will always have to be the bigger person trying to reach out and that is draining and I have been there. I am an old soul. I know how it feels like when other people try to act like a victim since i'm an old soul i like to be the bigger person and it takes a toll on me it takes a toll on a relationship with your friends with your family and it's very draining when you see someone playing a victim please don't try to fix them just be you live your life go find someone who is going to be worth your time that is it for today's video if you like this video give it a really big thumbs up 
comment down below and also share my video so that it can reach your friends and your family because the more you like this video the more you share the more you subscribe then the more it reaches other people and who knows maybe someone needs to hear this video so thank you for watching my videos and i will see you guys next time bye bye